What's up guys? So what I wanted to talk about in this video is a theory and a framework to look at the game of hockey and to look at the performance of your game. So what does this mean? Okay, so it's the simulation theory. So there's this common theory that exists that believes that it is possible that we could live in a simulation at this very moment. Now you can look that up, you can look into the details of that, but what I want to talk about is how this relates to the mind and the sport of hockey. So when you look at the way that we play, the look at the way that the game develops, we are a collection of memories that allows us to make decisions on the ice. We make plays based on assumptions, things that we've learned in the past, and then we that allows us to make better influence decisions now. So I watched a show and it is focused on this idea of a simulation. The show is called Westworld. And the idea is that there are robots inside the show that run on a consistent storyline. They show up, they wake up each day, and they run through the same storyline. Their entire job is to simply just exist and to do what they're programmed to do. Now, when you're in a hockey game, there is a lot of similarities here. There is this idea that we are free. This idea that we have the choice to do what we want in games. But ultimately, what we do have is what we've done to prepare for that moment. Now, most of the time when we're on the ice, we are simply just a reflection of the things that we've practiced, the things that coaches have taught us, the things that we have seen in games in the NHL or in past games, the mistakes we've made that we've learned from. We're this collection of things. And in any given moment, it is very hard to make a decision uninfluenced by those things, and you may not even want to. But what we want to consider is, what if you are running on a storyline? What if your entire career so far has simply just been a result of other people's decisions, other people's programs? And this is what great players do. They program the way that you play, the decisions that you make. When a great player makes a move, they're manipulating your programming. They're manipulating the way that you assume a player is going to move and then they expose your reaction. These reactions that occur happen instantaneously. There has been many studies that show that we have an instinctual reaction to things. Just like when somebody throws a ball at you unexpectedly and you see it coming and you catch it. You don't have time to consciously make a decision. You simply just have a program reaction of move the hand, catch the ball. So this is pretty common to understand, but when you start to think about how this applies to our pre-programmed decisions in games, it completely revolutionizes the way that we want to think about reality on the ice. Because no longer are we processing the game from this position of complete freedom and we step into every game with unlimited opportunities. We have a lot of limited opportunities. There's a lot of limitation in our game, in our game. So how do we use this? How do we leverage this to improve our game? Well, when we understand that we have these pre-programmed decisions that occur, what we want to do now is actually break free from our programming. Now, how do we do that? So step one is learning how to become extremely present, unbelievably in the zone. Because when we tap in to being extremely present, we exist on a razor thin line of existence. Because what we are often doing in any given moment on the ice is processing just ahead what we, are, what we think is gonna happen. So say, this is the moment, this razor thin spot. What we're usually doing is processing and thinking ahead to what's going to happen on this side, or we think on this side about what just happened. Rarely ever 
or are we tapped into that exact moment? And when we are able to tap into that exact centered mo moment, excuse me, what we will realize is that there are moments when we can become free of these programmings, but it only happens for a few moments. Great players are able to tap into this more often. And this is when you see these unbelievably creative plays. What's happening here is they're tapping in to what we call at Identity 2.0, the true self. They are tapping into something that is past your programming, that is past the simulated reality. You're tapping into this insane experience because again, our mind is simply just simulating what is around us. It is processing it, you're seeing it, all that's happening is you're seeing it, it's coming back into your mind, and you're just creating an interpretation of what you see out there. So when we can escape that pre-programmed notion of what we're supposed to interpret when it comes back in, that internal perception, it opens up a completely new opportunity. So consider that. Think about how that could work in your life, but really genuinely think about how you may be caught up in the hockey simulation and how you may not have much, as much control as you think you do on the ice. And let's gain that control back by learning how to tap into the moment and escape the programming. Now, if you want to learn more about this, click the link below and you can access the hockey meditation course. This is going to teach you how to learn the basics. And then when you're ready, you can step into the rest of the advanced courses that we have that will allow you to learn the more advanced techniques. But that's completely up to you when you're ready to take that next step. But for now, question that, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.